to him, baby. Sorry. <laughs> I'm about to have a baby. Let's go. Let's go ahead and check out the room real quick. Let's go and show all the fundamentals real quick. So you know, we got the we got the gaming chair right here. We gotta move it over there so we're not connect the PC. Um, you know, so get down a little cod. Maybe you never know. This is um, obviously a table to eat on. Everybody knows that. Come on. Obviously, I'm joking, guys. Obviously. And that's a door. Not before you come in. This is my uh, double PC that I just bought. Um, that's uh, the wifey's bed. Uh-oh. She looks like she got some bad news. I'll get back at you guys. All right, guys. Sorry about that interruption. Um, what? Let's check out the... Sheesh. She got the bathroom. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Clean, clean. Yeah. So you got a chair in there in case you get tired, you know. They take care of us here. We're, we're, we're kind of like VIPs here, basically. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys. My camera quality is not the best. But look at yeah. the bed they got your boy sleeping in. Sheesh. Bro, I wish I had a bed like this back at home. No, I and then, you know, don't have any this uh, California view is kind of <laughs> dirty, too. You never know. Jeez, bro. Is that the Eiffel Tower? Crazy. Okay, Crazy, you. bro. We kind of... We're living luxury right now. And this actually folds up into, like, two seats and a place to eat. But, you know, I'm not trying to flex on y'all like that yet. But just a little setup for the one time, baby. Say hi to the camera. We... I've been at the hospital over 10 hours. I took an amazing nap. She did not. Let's go ahead and see that needle on your arm. Oh my god. So bad. Oh my god. They killed her. They basically killed her. So bad. And she had to get COVID tested, even though she's vaccinated. But guess who didn't? Ha! <laughs> The big one moves out here. Show them the birds. Oh, the oh yeah, there's some birds in here. Oh, they <gasps> I think they escaped, but their nest is right there. You can see it. I don't see no birds, though. They went to we saw some birds once upon a time. They're gone. I'm kind of I'm kind of scared to look down. What if they uh, what if they made a short destination down to heaven? <laughs> <laughs> they thought, thought they could fly. They can fly. Oh, my God. Uh, uh. Oh my god, there's dead birds. Oh my god, there's dead birds. Oh my god. Okay, we're good. On another note, you know, I think I think girls over exaggerate. I think guys are the ones that have it tough at hospitals. <laughs> my back is killing me. You got to sleep. Just really... I couldn't. I'm sorry, is this your vlog or mine? My oh god. Mm. Back to where I was at. So yeah. Gotta sleep a little bit, you know, it wasn't the most comfortable. It was kind of cold in here. I barely got a blanket. She's been covered up this whole time. You know, I didn't get to eat. Her food came first. They have favoritism yeah. here, apparently. Lying. <laughs> like a walrus. Anyways, her food did come first. Not by much. Her plate was here first. So apparently, you know, they have favoritism. My back hurts. Bread's actually not that bad. It is pretty cold in this room. It's actually perfect for sleeping. But, you know, sometimes I don't want to sleep at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. You know, they got us eating luxurious. Come on now. That's apple juice, believe it or not. I was kind of... I was kind of disappointed. I don't know why nothing's rendering in there yet. I was kind of disappointed in it. I, don't, I actually don't know what this is. That's mac and cheese. Yeah, never mind. Maybe not so luxurious. <laughs> Luxurious. Mm, yeah, this kind of looks delicious. They finally brought my ketchup mail last time I forgot it. <clears throat> Shake my head. Mm. That actually does look pretty fire. She also got mac cheese in here. I'm not going to open it. Tomato soup. Also not going to open it. This apparently slaps. I haven't tried it, but she's tried it. <laughs> no, look at my gorgeous girlfriend. <laughs> got a little cookie on the side. Also mac and cheese. Kind of upset that I doubled up on it. Thought it was going to be better. This is the smallest pizza I've ever seen. What the fuck is this? Oh my god. Does look good though. It is currently 9-16. July 22nd. Um, you wanna give us an update, baby? Uh, I just got my cervix checked. It was a two and a half, I believe is what she said. 
and I'm probably going to start being on the Pitocin here in about an hour, depending on what the doctor says. Which means baby girl will be coming soon, hopefully. We are currently at 10.54 p.m. Still July 22nd. Nurse Amy came to visit. Um, okay, yeah, you know, you know. Out here. Bring us the snacks, you know. Let's see what she brought us today. She brought us some some Pepsi. Is that, is that a Twix ice cream? No, you good, mama. I meant Nurse Amy. <laughs> Sheesh. You know, these are uh, hospital essentials. <laughs> so, my mom came in here. She actually just pointed out something that I knew, didn't really acknowledge. But, um, we're going to have a werewolf baby. <laughs> oh, probably not the, probably not the smartest thing to have the light on. Whatever. Just believe it or not. I, oh, yep. <laughs> it's going away. Alright, guys, a little update. About 35 a.m. We were woken up about like 25 minutes ago. Um, and my girlfriend just got her epidural. So, how you feeling, baby? Sorry about the light. Honestly, a lot, a lot better. Oh, well, that's good. More relaxed. That's great. They got a little play ball under there. I don't want to move the stuff. But yeah, um, she doesn't want to rest though, even though she feels better. I think she was sleeping like trash. So, hopefully, I can convince her to take a nap and, uh, you know, we'll enjoy these last couple seconds that we can, last couple minutes that we can rest before the day becomes. She is now nine and a half centimeters dilated. Oh my god, and on such a beautiful day, too. Anytime now. That was like the ball, by the way. She was just like, How you feeling, baby? That's nervous. Okay. I'll keep you guys updated. So your boy's officially a dad. How's it feel, baby? Tired. She's tired. She killed it. She got so many compliments from the nurses. How easy it was. How easy she was. She felt no pain. She was about to pass out from pushing. But I was looking for the baby yesterday. Um, I know I've been kind of slacking, um, cause you know I've been spending time as a dad. But uh, she's resting. A little cutie. The mama over there enjoying her meal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're just vibing. We actually got an upgrade in the room, in case you guys haven't noticed. You know, we got a more comfortable bed for her. My bed was slightly more comfortable too. Still feels a little uncomfortable, you know, but it's it's, it's pretty comfortable considering it's a hospital. Everything moved over here. Oh, shout out to Alexia's mom for the flowers. Well, while my little princess is asleep, I felt there's no better time than now to start another vlog. Just to kind of give you guys like a, just like a, a mini detail of like the experience. It's actually crazy. Like, like I know everybody tells me like, people, people were asking me if I was crying. And like, I was like, in my head, I'm like, what? I was like, why would I cry? This isn't that. Um, I didn't cry, by the way, but it was like definitely life changing. Like I, I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't planning on watching the birth. Um, I know you guys can judge, uh, but I wasn't planning on it. I just didn't. It didn't seem intriguing. It seemed like it was gonna be nasty, dirty. There's gonna be a lot of blood, all that. Like, it just didn't seem appealing to me. Um, it finally convinced me the time of. Definitely the best decision of my life. Uh, first, it started off kind of slow. You know, I could see the hair. It was a surreal moment. Like, it was just crazy. Um, yeah, it was crazy how fast life uh, life changed right there. <laughs> when the actual, like, pushing started, like, I actually, I think my girlfriend caught it. The nurses didn't. But um, I actually gasped when, like, I could see most of the baby's head. Like, 
it was like like at first it was pushing like I could see like part like a big part of it. Once it got about like three fourths of the way out, like I literally went, like I was like my soul had left my body, and like it was just, it was a crazy experience. Like I it and it wasn't even like I didn't even think about it. it just happened and it was just crazy. And to top it off, like when the actual like when, when my little uh, my little baby girl Astrea actually came out, it was even crazier because like. It kind of like scared me low key because I've seen the head come out and like obviously I've seen babies after they've been born but I've never seen an actual birth. Uh, so when I saw the head I was like all right there's not much more and then all of a sudden I just see a little baby come out of like a small hole like that shit was scary. It threw me off but it was just like it was crazy. I'm really glad I got to watch it. As you can hear um, Astrea is awake so I will talk to you guys later. So it's 9.56 a.m. The 24th of July, 2021. Um, I think we've decided this is going to be our only kid. She's a little calm now because she's about to eat, but she's been crying all night. Having to go to sleep. It's just... It's not the move. Anyway, stay tuned. We're actually about to leave. Finally. Um, how you feeling, baby? Yeah. Fine. Fine. yeah, she's lying. She's ready to go home. She's <laughs> complaining. Um, the doctor tried leaving while she was breastfeeding, told her to finish breastfeeding, and she made the decision for the baby that she was done eating just so we can get started with the process leaving. So, um, yeah, I, I'm with her though. I'm ready to leave, ready to go home and relax. Um, but I'm super excited. I'm actually very, uh, I'm very, very blessed with this experience. She definitely was being a crybaby earlier, uh, but I think we got this thing figured out and we should be good. But yeah, anyways, we're it's 3.46 right now. Um, we're about to get ready to leave, so I'll keep you guys posted. How's it going, guys? Hope you guys enjoyed the YouTube video. Um, it is actually my first vlog, in case you guys didn't notice. Big shout out to my boy, Jonathan Marin. He actually gave me the idea to do this. He actually gave it to me while I was in the hospital was initially gonna do it but he was like dude you should do it it crossed my mind but i wasn't gonna do it really happy i did though i think this turned out as a banger thank god for my baby being being safe healthy and coming out beautiful it is actually her one month birthday so that's actually why i thought this would be the best time to post it that's why it took me so long to actually do it so yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed i will be leaving a collage of pictures of my baby so if you guys want to see that just stick around for the video she's super gorgeous um and i also want to say thank you to everybody who's been there for her and been there for us all my friends and family welcoming her with open arms it has been really amazing and a really great experience yeah i'm really blessed to be a father for all you soon to be fathers because i know there are a lot of you out there good luck <laughs> it's really life-changing um there are some down parts not a ton though overall dude being a dad is just amazing Way better than I expected, way better than people have told me in the past. But yeah, um, also part of my shout out for my boy John, he does have a YouTube channel, so make sure to go check it out. It's John Marin. I'll try to leave a link in the description, so if you guys want to check it out that way as well. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel, and enjoy these pictures of my beautiful baby. Starts down deep in her heart, there is a spark every time she smiles still knocks me off my feet she's on some dance floor twirling but she don't see the heads turning lucky for me i get to be